quick and dirty CAN bus testing at your DLC port or at a module using the U-scope. So one way is to go across 6 and 14. 6 will be your positive lead, 14 will be your negative lead. When you first turn the U-scope on, you're going to get a picture kind of like this. But first off, let's change the voltage. We're going to make that go down. About a half a volt is a good swing. And then we're going to go over to the milliseconds here, and we're going to go down to about 200 to 100 microseconds. That'll usually give you a good pattern to look at. So since we're in this half volt division, each little block in here is going to be half a volt. So every two blocks going vertical is going to be a volt. So you can tell we're a little over two volts to about two and a half volts. That is a good CAN bus signal when you're going across the pins. If you're going to be going from ground to one of your signals, now I have my voltage set to one volt and you can see the little green arrow here that's going to be our zero volt line so one block would be one volt and then two volt and you can see we're floating our bias line about two and a half volts there and we know it's the high side because our voltage is going up to about three and a half a little over three and a half volts so let's switch this from can high to can low all the same settings and you can see now our voltage is going from that two and a half volts down to almost one and a half volts. That is a good CAN bus low side circuit. And there you go, that's how you can do some quick easy CAN bus testing with the U-scope.